Hey Jay, are you home? I'm here. Hey, you want to go check out Greenwich Village? Let's go. How long have you lived in Greenwich Village? I've lived here my entire life, 33 years. Yep, I'm old. What is it about this neighborhood that keeps you here? Uh, well, the fact of the matter is it's the most vibrant neighborhood in the city and it's home for me. I've been here forever and I want to stay here forever. What's your favorite memory from growing up here? I would say trick-or-treating in Greenwich Village is like trick-or-treating nowhere else. Amazing places to go and so much candy to get. How many pictures do you have under the arch? Zero. <laughs> True story. Wait, how do the girls do it? How do you start your day? I like to wake up, have a cup of coffee, and hit the gym, obviously. Before you hit the gym, do you do mouthwash or floss? Definitely floss. How do you get to work every day? Well, I like the city bike, but it is such a beautiful neighborhood that you can walk and check out all the beautiful sights and sounds. You are pretty much within two blocks of every major subway in New York City, so it's a super, super, super convenient neighborhood. What is the unofficial dog of Greenwich Village? I love a good poodle. Three words to describe your neighborhood. Vibrant, colorful, and of course, home. When you think of West 8th Street, what do you think about? Well, I think of this place, Ava's, which has been here forever. It is a true and authentic block that has always owned itself and been very, very genuine. What makes Greenwich Village different from other parts of New York City? Because you have this amazing fusion of old and new. You have young students coming into the neighborhood who are constantly bringing energy, and people who have been in the neighborhood forever who really like it a certain way. So it's a super interesting mix. If you're dressed to impress, where do you go out to eat? Definitely Mineta Tavern, here. Gotham Bar and Grill if you want a really great classic New York meal, or Strip House, which is an amazing steak restaurant. Where do you go if you're a little more casual? I would say you have two diners right in the hood. You have Waverly Diner and you have Washington Square Diner, both perfect greasy spoons. What shop should I check out? The Strand, it's the most iconic bookstore in the city. Uh, places like Chess Forum are really entertaining and very unique to the neighborhood. What is the neighborhood most iconic for? I would say the jazz club, you have Blue Note around the corner, Village Vanguard, and of course the Comedy Cellar, which is a great place to get your chuckles. <laughs> for $3.99, get organic bananas from Guatemala. <laughs> Where do you go for your everyday needs? Typically I come here to Lifetime because it has everything, pharmacy, great produce, lots of good products, and it's a block away from my apartment. So when people say the village, does that also include the West Village? I think the village is basically one neighborhood. East, West, North, South. It's just the village. I'm a village person. Let's go. If your neighborhood had a theme song, what would it be? We are family. All my brothers, sisters, and me. <laughs> OK, bye. Mets or Yankees? Hardcore Mets fan. Jets or Giants? Jets fan. Joe's or John's Pizza? Always John's, no question asked. They used to sponsor my childhood baseball team and best pizza in town. What do you look forward to most coming home at the end of the day? Well, I really enjoy hanging out on my stoop and watching the people. That sounds pretty awesome. I'm going to leave you with your leftovers, but thanks so much for showing me around Greenwich Village today. You sure you don't want them? Nah, you keep them. No, no, take them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Joe's or John's? It's like comparing apples to apple pie. You like both. One is kind of healthy for you, but apple <laughs> <laughs>